Hello, my name is Bo Bouchard, and it is my pleasure on behalf of RIT to present a short technical demonstration about our practical approach to mapping job growth in the GIS industry. The United States Department of Labor has recognized geospatial information system as a high growth industry. This project aims to hypothesize and create methods for semi-accurate predictions of the locations of job growth in the GIS industry using ESRI's ArcMap. The result of our methodology will be validated for accuracy against an actual list of job offers which are predicted in our model. Looking at strong indicators of job growth such as educational attainment, unemployment levels, historic technical field job growth, and proximity to transportation, we were able to scale and generate a score for each segment of the data, eventually providing a summary score. This summary score would then identify if one area would be more likely to offer a job in the GIS field than another. To demonstrate our summary variables, we've prepared a few maps. In this map of New York City, we demonstrate the educational attainment of a population's labor force at the census tract level. In this map, the darker areas indicate high percentage of the labor force who have obtained at least an associate's degree or at least two years of college whereas the lighter or transparent areas show the lowest percentage of the labor force who have attained some college. The green stars are a few GIS related jobs which have shown up within the past month. In this map we are looking at the unemployment score of four major cities around New York State. New York City, Syracuse, Albany, and Rochester, New York. This time the darker areas indicate the area with the lowest percentage of the labor force which are unemployed whereas the lighter or transparent areas have a larger percentage of the labor force unemployed. In this map, we look at our transportation score of four major cities around New York State at the census tract level. Again, New York City, Syracuse, Albany, and Rochester, New York. The transportation score is calculated from a multi-ring buffer centered around major transportation hubs, such as airports. The proximity to transportation hub is converted to a scaled score, with the darkest areas being the highest score closest to the transportation hubs. This is a demonstration of the final compiled result, which is an accumulation of the many scaled scores. The strongest factors for approximating job growth are the scaled scores of historic job growth and the unemployment scores. The green stars are GIS-related job postings which have shown up on the GIS Jobs Clearinghouse within the previous month. They can be used to provide visual verification of our models. Another portion of our project was a short survey which was given out to GIS professionals to determine the rank of importance of these metrics. We also created out of this project a small community called GIS Jobs on a popular social media website called reddit.com. The community has over 200 members who are reading and posting GIS related job offers. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to stay up to date with our research.